Hi, I'm Paul Massey. I, uh, I started my career at uh, C.B. Richard Ellis selling investment properties. Uh, shortly thereafter, I started there. I started a firm called Massey Knackle uh, with my partner Bob Knackle. And uh, we ended up with a, uh, a coveted niche in New York City representing um, a, a majority of people who sold their building in New York. We sold that business to Cushman and Wakefield in 2014 and since then have started a new business called B6. It stands for Building by Building, Block by Block. Um, in that business we are uh, also again representing people selling buildings but we're also parachuting debt brokers into each of the markets that we serve, working side by side with our sales brokers. Uh, to provide a more strategic option and outlook for uh, the investing community in New York. By sheer luck, I was involved with my fraternity in college and uh, there was an alum who would come around a couple of times a year who was, who was supposed to make sure we weren't burning the house down. And it turned out he was a CBRE National Accounts Officer and he, and he got me a summer job at CB. Uh, while I was in college and I loved it. I saw happy people and I never knew anything about commercial real estate. Um, so when I uh, got out of school, I went back to him and he, the manager of the Boston office where I grew up told me that the office was full and I was crushed because I, I, I loved it so much. Uh, so I went back to my fraternity connection and he said, well, that's the bad news. The good news is that we're brand new in New York City and we'll take anybody there. So being so qualified, I, uh, I went down to New York, but my battle plan was be in New York for six months, nine months, impress them, go back and get the job I wanted in Boston. And that plan didn't last long because New York was so much fun and I, I loved every minute of it. And uh, so I did, I did my first five years out of college at CBRE and I loved every minute of it. I thought commercial real estate was more appealing to me uh, f fundamentally because I never knew people could make that much money. I grew up very modestly and uh, we uh, and, and and I saw a lot of happy people. Uh, I saw people who were engaged and dynamic and um, it was a world I just immediately wanted to be part of. It wasn't a, a well thought out uh, process of elimination for me. I also knew that I was a really bad student in college, so I wasn't competing with my classmates for the colgate Palmolive training program job or the investment banking job. So when I saw a way in, I wanted to jump through the window. A personality trait that I had that made me a success was a good dose of discipline, because I think that um, as sexy as we all think uh, this business is, it's really uh, a lot about a, being a disciplined pipeline manager, prospecting, winning business, executing business, closing business. So uh, we tend to think that um, Division I athletes um, have, a, or any type of athlete, have that kind of discipline where you know you just don't show up on Saturday and win the game. You grind it out for months and months beforehand and, um, and that's the way to win. So I think that's very applicable here. We also uh, came to find out that people with military background um, have that same uh, in, inbred ability to be disciplined. They also need to have a creative side to them, which we watch for, but my, uh, my team is being led at this very moment by a Special Forces uh, Army Ranger. Um, so I, uh, I, I, think, I think you get the drift about what discipline can contribute to a career in commercial real estate. <laughs>